Loved this guy's work for years and was thrilled to, to have him on a Zoom a couple of years ago. Uh, Alive and Well Enough is an audible original blending memoir, original music, and performance with Jeff Daniels, who wrote and recorded this original at his Michigan home with his son, Ben, as the producer. And joining us now from his Michigan home is Jeff Daniels on The Rich Eisen Show. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm doing great, Rich. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. I'm I'm a diehard Jet fan, Jeff. Um, <laughs> I can feel your pain. I'm laughing. I'm laughing because, yeah. you know, I'm the Detroit Lions fan. Yes, sir. And, I mean, we go back to 1957. Uh, and I saw an article uh, today maybe where, where, I mean, you look at the Giants, they're in trouble, the Jets, yep. the Knicks, the Nets, the Mets, the Yankees. Yep. That's Detroit. That's where we've been with all of our professional sports teams for years. And then to see New York kind of dealing with it with Rogers, Rogers going down. Look at him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look at you. Look at you. I'm sorry. But hey, look, you should be laughing based on your your uh, your situation's optimism there. I could see it. If I'm not mistaken, you have a Honolulu blue lion on the, the vest you're wearing right now Jeff. i do okay. i do i even you know what you know you get into august and september and and you get the bug and so you go to the nfl.com and you start shopping and uh <laughs> i got uh i got uh, a a jersey yes number 89 with uh, the name cogdill on the back <laughs> gail cogdill was my Detroit Lion in the mid '60s when I was a kid, and he was the wide receiver, and I wanted to be Gail Cogdill, so that's what I'll be wearing every game this year. Okay, so now I just I've, I I don't know uh, about the consumer experience at NFL.com or NFLShop.com, Jeff. Did you get a note from them when you said I want Cogdill saying who is this? From customer service? <laughs> did, did they ask for no. an explanation, Jeff? No, they no. were happy to put Harry Dunn on the back of it. They didn't really care. It didn't matter to NFL.com or shop here. Okay. No. All right. No. So, you know, uh, it didn't require an essay or anything like that no. to come with the request? No. Just credit card number. That's all they need. <laughs> Valid, I'm sure, of course. Valid, yes. All right. So walk me through your... Uh, you know, you you can assume my viewing experience of Monday Night Football uh, this week. Walk me through your experience of watching the Thursday Night Kickoff, Jeff Daniels. Walk me through that one. Uh, well, with the Lions, yes, yes. sir. Um, uh, I, I I was only able, I was busy, I was working, but I was able to get to the about the second quarter. Mm -hmm. You know, you went into the game. We we yes. go into the game going, just don't get blown out. <laughs> Don't get blown out. Lose yeah. by a touchdown. Okay, 10. That's enough. We can, you know, it's Kansas City. It's Patrick Mahomes. God knows we had enough pictures of him that night. And, and and you know, and Kelsey over on the sidelines. Is he dating Taylor Swift? Do we care? I don't. And it was just, it just was, here we go again. And, you know, Mike Tirico makes a comment. Now we got an asterisk. And, and it's just like, okay, all right. We're used to it. We got it. We got to get into the playoffs. We got to get deep into the playoffs before people go. Well, I guess they're for real, you know, and that's kind of where we sit. But I was, I, we were all kind of waiting for the other shoe to drop and then it didn't, it didn't. And uh, so we're as stunned as everyone else. Well, optimism regardless. Well, you know? what you might've missed in the first quarter was uh, coach Dan Campbell going for it on a fake punt on the second drive of the game from his own 17 yard line. And then just seeing that and it led to the first touchdown of the game and then just seeing that and newly acquired david montgomery from the bears just pinball his way into the end zone to take the lead and win it just seemed like an imposition of will that is part and parcel of the new head coach i'm wondering what you think of coach dan campbell jeff daniels well it worked didn't it that yeah. time it worked and uh that's who he is and he scares people and uh he he'll do anything and, you know, with Ben Johnson, the offensive coordinator, you know, deciding to stay, that's that was that was a real, um, you know, he could have gone. Mm -hmm. He could have gone. And he could have gone and, and coached a team that would struggle and he might last two years. And But he stayed with the Lions because I think they smell success. 
And I think Ben does. I think with Dan Campbell, they do. Brad Holmes has been a magician with, uh, I mean, we pick up Gibbs in the first round and, you know, everybody on the draft program is going, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't have him on my sheet. I don't need him. What are you doing? <laughs> well, it's, you know, you'll see what we do with him. You know, I don't think we've seen the speed that Gibbs has yet. Uh, it's, it's, it's exciting around here, you know, and it has not been for, oh, decades you know, Jeff Daniels, so, the Audible original alive and well enough right here on the Rich Eisen show. And we'll get to that in a second. If you were casting a film of the Lions and casting the role of Dan Campbell, who would you choose to play? Well, Dan Campbell, you know, Jeff? after me was some prosthetics and a year in the gym. Um, <laughs> more pull up. <laughs> uh, who do you think? And that's a that's a, you know, can Gronk act? Um <laughs> That's not a bad one. I, 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 I've seen his commercials. I'll just say no. I I'm don't gonna, think yeah, he can. It's, it's, or 80 for Brady. I don't think he was – That was he was playing himself, and it seemed like that was a struggle to be straight up with you, <laughs> Jeff. Was, that, <laughs> 80 that's for hard Brady. to do, to yeah. play yourself. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know. Yeah, uh, you know, Liam Neeson, lose the accent. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. That's not you bad. You know, back to that fake punt. Yes, sir. Uh, buckle up. When we're on our own four yard line and he goes for it on fourth. Yeah. I mean, you'll have, every Lions fan watching will be on their feet pacing, you know? I love it. I, love I don't it. put it past him to do it either. Well, I mean, they, they do look for real. And again, their last two wins was the one that we're referring to against the, the Chiefs to ruin their banner raising night. And they're the ones who sent uh, Rogers packing from his Green Bay career, too. Keeping him from the playoffs and and, and dropping the well, curtain there in Lambeau Field. It's not a bad a double You're a Jets fan, so I just I hate to tell you, but we beat him twice last year. Okay, yeah. we beat him twice, and we beat him on a Sunday night when we really had our bags packed. Season over, it's yeah. not a big deal. Why are we even in Green Bay? And we beat him. And then as soon as he goes to New York, it's we're going to be in the Super Bowl. Which okay, I get. And, and the last thing, I mean, I wanted Aaron to play all season, you know? Yeah. I mean, we all did. I mean, it was going to be a great Thursday night, a great game with the Buffalo. And and you want to see, you know, what he could do. I mean, he was at the hard knocks. He was in a great place. And it was just, it's look, it's the injury that no fan of any team wants to see happen to their starting quarterback. I mean, including here in Detroit. I mean, it's just that you get to the end of the game and if everybody's still upright and standing, that's, that's one victory. And I, I was, I was sorry to see it. I really was, as was the NFL and certainly everyone in the, you know, New York city area. Jeff Daniels here on the Rich Eisen show. Let's talk about alive and well enough an audible original. And uh, what, why'd you decide to do this, Jeff? I got talked into it. My agent said, do you know that you're the only actor in Hollywood who does not have a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yes and that's a problem and and so i said well let me do what i do and i said don't make me call other celebrities and try to book them and i don't want to interview people i don't know how to do that mm -hmm. let me just do what i do i have a guitar i've written songs for decades none of which will end up in nashville but they're they're a lot of them are funny and so i said why don't you just kind of put that guitar show where you tell the story of what it's like to be in a movie with Clint Eastwood and get shot and killed by Clint. Mm -hmm. And then you play the song Dirty Harry Blues, which is the song about what it's like to get shot and killed by Clint Eastwood. <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, the whole Broadway experience of Atticus Finch, me talking about acting, about songwriting, and then Snack Time with Harry Dunn, where Harry <laughs> Dunn from Dumb and Dumber interviews the actor who played him in the movie. And so that, and that's so why I get to write all this stuff. Yes. And so it's all written. It's like, it, it became like a memoir, but an entertainment piece. And I really try to write with a sense of humor and make people laugh as they're listening to this thing, wherever they might be, you know, doing whatever they might be doing. And, you know, Audible Originals has been great. And, and we'll see. I hope I, I get to do it for many years. And then your son's producing it as well. That's yeah, it's neat. just me and my son, Ben. You know, he's a sound engineer. He's a musician. We've got a home studio here. And I do audio books out of there and narration. And Ken Burns did Hemingway. I, we recorded it there. And when we do ADR, lip syncing for TV shows, movies, 
we do it out of the studio and Ben's the engineer on it. So it's just the two, there's not, most podcasts have, you know, what, 10, 20, 75 people. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just me and Ben. So we're kind of stunned. Well, <laughs> it's pretty neat. It's, and what, what's the, the, uh, the genesis of the title, Jeff? Alive age, and well enough. Age pretty much just, you know, oh. I'm definitely, you know, down the road and, um, and it, it was, I wrote, I did an album, just a kind of me and the acoustic guitar during COVID mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with, you know, we couldn't bring anybody in. So, you know, it's COVID I'm alive and well enough, you know, as we all sit through the middle of that. And then when it came time to do the podcast, I said, well, I can't think of a better title. So let's just steal that one. And you're in your home office there. What, what, what behind you is, uh, the most interesting item that you have? What's that on the wall? You got, what do you, what do you got that you... You can walk us through here. Uh, Jeff. What do you got that's there? Me at a slow pitch softball game. Okay. Probably the game where I tore my ACL. <laughs> um, that's not great. My, my, one of my sons, that's Ben, when oh. he was maybe five years old. Okay. That's uh, me and my son Lucas on the set of Dumb and Dumber 2. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Paul Martino, manager. There's there's my dad, Chelsea Lumber Company. A couple of, you know, awards that don't mean anything. Are there tickets yeah. behind you? Do I see on, over your right shoulder? Or there, is there anything up oh, there? Yeah, here's a Michigan, Michigan State. Okay. Here's a Detroit Tiger. Here's a, yeah, here's a 2012 Tiger game. It was a Thursday afternoon. There were about mm, maybe 80 people in the stands. <laughs> and... Doug Fister had nine strikeouts in a row. <laughs> All right. So I bet so you Doug. I, I, you know, I, I bet I, you. I, I saved the ticket. I don't know. I bet you Doug Fister doesn't. It, was that autographed by Doug Fister? No. It looks like it's like no. some sort of scrawl on it right there. <laughs> no, that's just me going. Doug Fister, nine Ks. You know. <laughs> I remember at that game sitting in the stands. And again, 80 people, and I look at like three rows down, and here's this guy older than I am sitting there, and we just look at each other and we'll, yeah, we're real fans. We <laughs> this is real fandom for sure. Yeah. That's July 18th, right? Oh, oh, did you look this up, Chris? Yeah, I looked it up. He had 10Ks in that game. Oh, oh hold on a minute. July Is that July 18th, Jeff? He's looking at the ticket right now. September 27th? September 27th. Oh. So you got the wrong. Yep, you got yep. the Kansas City. There you go. Yeah. You got the wrong yeah, the Fister Royals. start, got sir. It. <laughs> your, it was nine Ks in a row. Oh, that's that. That was the thing. That's the key. Very Seaver like out of Fister that day. <laughs> that, that's the. Yeah, that and that that old guy. I remember when we got to seven, eight Ks, hmm. and he kind of looks over at me, and I look at him, going, "Yep, yep. <laughs> you're gonna get to nine. Yep, yep. Anyway, so you're, yeah. You're not a superstitious fan, are you? Jeff, are you one of those superstitious no. fans? Where you no. where you can't talk about a no hitter, or you need to sit in the same spot watching a game, or anything like that? No. no. All right. No, it's Take not. I mean, when one. I used to be that way, it never worked. So I think I gave it up. Okay. All yeah. right. Well, listen. Uh, we I think we have uh, just for you going out the door. Um, we looked this up. Do we have that photograph of this uh, card? Let's show. They, uh, like, just is this is this is this the man whose uniform? Yo, know, we have Gail Cogdill up on the screen, Jeff. He was good. The, he's got he the. Good. He's got a very Unitas crop top. Is what it looks very, like. Yeah. Very. Yeah, surprised I didn't copy it at a young age. <laughs> could, I, have, I, could have done I, that. I, yeah, he was he was good. I mean, I looked him up too. I, I once I was going to get the jersey. I said you might want to know a little something about him and. Yeah, he he had a couple of really good years. Fantastic, you know? yeah. Jeff. Uh, I appreciate the time. Always a great time chatting with you. Uh, alive and well enough, where you can check out this Audible original memoir, original music and performance blend. Um, well, let's do this again when we could go down a little bit more of a path of your uh, your career. And I appreciate the time here, Jeff. Love to, Rich. Thank you very much. You got it. Everybody check this out on Audible. Jeff Daniels getting ready to watch the Lions take on the Seahawks and then go to 2-0 and for his Detroit Lions right here on the Rich Eisen Show. If he goes to uh, two wins in a row, you're two-ninths of the way to a, a fister. <laughs> right? Yes, that's <laughs> technically correct. 
He is bursting over there <laughs> to say nothing. I'm not allowed don't, to. You don't anymore. say anything. I'm don't, not allowed don't say, to. Don't say that. You, you took, not like allowed. Said, you took away one of my tricks. <laughs> Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.